Hi guys, this is Simon Stark and today we are looking at extinction and speciation. So first of all, we'll look at why a species can become extinct. Now, there are five main reasons that I will um, say to you now. And the first one is a natural disaster. So for example, a volcanic eruption. And this can uh, completely destroy a complete species. And that is what extinction is, is completely destroying and wiping out a whole species. Now, another way is a disease may occur, which again might wipe out a whole species because they are unable to cope with this disease. Then there might be an, an environmental change. So for example, there could be a destruction of habitat, which would mean that they don't have any place to live, resulting in extinction. The next way is they cannot compete with another species. So there may be another species which come along which um, eat them or they are prey to this other species which come along or the other, prey, the other species eats their food meaning that they cannot survive anymore. And the final way is human exploitation and this may be something like hunting because um, obviously for example the dodo when that, w that was mainly um, became extinct because of humans coming and hunting them for food. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is speciation. So the species is a group of similar organisms that can reproduce to give fertile offspring. Now, speciation is the development of a new species. So speciation occurs when the same species becomes different that they cannot breed together to produce fertile offspring. So how does speciation actually happen? Now, speciation happens because of isolation and natural selection. So isolation is when populations of species are separated. Now this could be for many reasons, for example there could be an earthquake separate them, or a flood which could separate them, and or anything could happen. A whole species could get um, going over to a completely different part. Now if you take, say there was an island and there was an earthquake which split them, and then on one side it was really warm and on one side with different cold, um, the, the, they would both um, both of the animals would have different characteristics um, um, which they would keep and now this is because of natural selection they would keep them because it has been a positive adaptation now if you watch my adaptation in video in animals video then you'll be able to see more about this but they'll keep these adaptations and then pass them on now this means that both of the different types of animals will keep these favourable alleles and then they will be so different that they are not the same species so they are now different species and that is speciation. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and please can you subscribe and like this video. See you soon, bye, bye.